हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन पी क्यू एंड आर आर थ्री टाउन्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी एंड क्यू इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स वेर एज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी एंड आर इज एटी किलोमीटर्स क्यू इज इन द वेस्ट ऑफ पी R is in the south of P. What is the distance between Q and R? This question is based on directions lecture. It is asked in 2019. In this year, two questions were asked from this lecture, my friends. Very easy questions. 30 minutes you can master this lecture, and you cannot miss the questions from this lecture, my friends. Now these are the standard directions we have: north, south, west, east. Now here it is given that P, Q, and R are three towns. The distance between P and Q is 60 kilometers, whereas the distance between P and R is 80 kilometers. In these two, P is common, my friends. Here, distance of Q with respect to P is 60 kilometers. Okay, distance of R with respect to P is 80 kilometers. So we are referring Q and R with respect to P, my friends. So I am taking P as center. P is common in both terms, my friends. So I am taking P as center. See, this is what you should do. First, fix the center, my friends. Center is one which appears in most of the cases. So I am fixing P here. Now see, Q is in the west of P. We have P here, west of P. This direction, okay. So Q here, my friends. And R is in the south of P. South is this direction, okay. R is in the south of P. It is said that distance between P and Q is 60 kilometers. This is 60 kilometers. Distance between P and R is 80 kilometers. This is 80 kilometers. Now we want distance between Q and R. This distance. It is not this distance, my friends. Not 140 distance. What do we mean by this? Is shortest possible path, my friends. This is the shortest possible path. So length of this path is the distance. Okay. So distance means this shortest possible length between Q and R. Now see, this is a right angle triangle. This is hypotenuse. So Q R hypotenuse square is equal to P R square plus P Q whole square. P R is eighty whole square and a sixty whole square. This is sixty four hundred. This is thirty six hundred. This is a ten thousand. Okay, this is hundred whole square, my friends. So Q R square is equal to hundred whole square. Q R is equal to hundred. So our answer is D. Very easy question. First thing you have to do is fix the center. Thereafter, from the given data, fix other points, my friends, and then distances. Now we have a right angle triangle. In right angle triangle, hypotenuse square is equal P R square plus P Q square. From this, you will get QR is equal to 100 kilometers. And remember, distance is shortest possible length, my friends. Okay, so QR this is the shortest possible length path between Q and R. Clear, right? Shortest possible length is always a single straight line. Single straight line, my friends. Okay, from starting point to ending point. Okay, from starting point to ending point. Single straight line. Then only you will be getting shortest possible length. Here we have two straight lines, my friends. Okay, it is not shortest possible distance or length. 